In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic mission. In this case, we're going to have a battle over Tampa Bay. I have the mission area zoomed in to the desired size, and I'm going to start placing entities. Before I do that, I should double check to make certain that I have good elevation data loaded by uh, checking the lower part of the screen. Remember, even though the interface looks two-dimensional, this is a three-dimensional simulation. In order for the mission to run, basic IADs must be created. Doctrinally, this consists of an early warning site, a target acquisition site, and the assistance of a height finder or a similar 3D tracking. And lastly, the direct threat. I'm going to start with a sector operations center, and I'll place them near McDill. Now we need an early warning system. In this scenario, I'm expecting an attack from the west. I'll also be simulating a Soviet doctrine. As you choose a site, take notice of its role. You'll see the EW after the tall king I have selected for early warning. I'll place a tall king in this area without any cultural buildup. I'll use the snap to high point tool to ensure I've placed it within the highest area around uh, three miles. I'll place another one down to the south and use the same snap to high point tool. After I place these, take notice of the blue lines connecting them to the sock. This indicates that there's a link of the IADs and how the flow of information works. Next, we need a target acquisition system. I'll place some long tracks and make sure that they are at the highest within a three nautical mile radius. Due to the Russian systems that I've chosen, I'll need to augment their capabilities with a height finder. The IADs will work without one, but the time from detection to engagement will be longer. I'll place some thin skins nearby. Don't forget to use the snap to high point tool. Now we need some firepower. Let's add some SA6s to the IADs. Take notice of the parentheses after the site's names. The A stands for autonomous, meaning that it doesn't need an IADS in order to find its target and shoot, and decoy, which is obviously not going to fire. In this case, we just want a normal SA6. I'll place them to the north and south ends of town. You can see that I have a gap in between them, and that is intentional. So now that I have the red team finished, let's add some blue forces. But before that, let's give the blue forces an objective. I'll place a target for them somewhere in the city. Let's add a B1. I'll build a route for them, but to make things simple, I'll create a small orbit and then just add waypoints using the Route Builder tool. I'd like to remind you that you can also import PFPS files as your flight plan. I'll save the we weaponeering for another video. Uh, for now, we'll just work on the route. For realism, let's add some high value air assets, such as a E3 and an RC-135. I'm using the orbit tool in order to create some orbits for them. And down to the south, let's have some offensive counter air.
Lastly, take notice of the play button up top. It is green, which means that we have a complete enough mission to play. If we were missing something, it would be grayed out and wouldn't allow us to go any further. Save the mission and begin your simulation.